An inability to communicate can be one of the greatest forms of isolation for people from culturally and linguistically diverse backgrounds. Such people may have limited awareness of relevant legislation, laws, regulations and processes. A language interpreter should be used on all occasions when communicating with such clients. How do you ascertain a client's ability to communicate in English? When a client who you believe may need assistance with the English language approaches you, you should always ask open-ended questions and avoid questions that can be answered with yes or no. You may refer the client to JP Branch for interpreting assistance if the client has difficulties communicating in English or requests an interpreter either verbally or by presenting a Queensland interpreter's card, QIC. Speakers who have difficulty speaking English use the card to inform people that they require an interpreter and identifies the language for which an interpreter is required. Multicultural Affairs Queensland distributes the cards. Consistent with the Language Services Policy 2014, Qualified interpreters are crucial for people who have difficulty speaking English but must complete the following documents. Court documents, for example, affidavits, enduring powers of attorney, advanced health directives and wills, statutory declarations. The deponent must be able to understand the document's contents, nature and effects of the document and consequences of the warning. Using qualified interpreters will help avoid costly mistakes as well as complaints or litigation that results from neglecting to provide an interpreter. You will need to determine the appropriateness of telephone and on-site interpreting and or translation and ensure there is enough time for the translation, interpreting and questioning period to avoid rushing and uh, ensure a quiet comfortable environment with minimal distractions and provide privacy during the interview and interpreting process. According to the Language Services Policy 2014, difficulties may occur that could impact on the outcome if these factors are not met. Taking into account the busy, noisy, crowded, time-poor environs of where you may be volunteering your services, the use of a telephone interpreting service could be impractical and detrimental to the client. You should contact the JP branch for further assistance. This practice will reduce the stress on both you and the deponent caused by frustration and pressure experienced due to the language barrier. Alternatives include make a booking for a quieter time, propose an alternate venue, Direct the deponent to the Finder JP website to find another Justice of the Peace or Commissioner for Declarations who may be able to assist. We trust that helps you to have a better understanding of interacting with clients that may have language barriers when witnessing documents. Bye for now.